This is day two of the super tide, and I've lost my voice from heavy drinking. And these are the stairs down to the Westminster foreshore. So these are the stairs. It's 20 years since I've been down these. Excellent. And that's the foreshore, and we're going there. Here we go. So here we are on the foreshore, and we're going down there to find treasure. We like treasure. We like it a lot. This is Lambeth Bridge. We've been putting out little bits of pipe, nice bits of pottery, but occasional iron bit, but nothing um, not in shape yet. But it's early days, it's about an hour and a half to low tide. It's gonna get pretty low. This is the high end, which is really the light stuff's here. We won't get near the heavy stuff until the last minute. But that's uh, where we're going. Bo, the aquatic human, and cell phone magnet has found his first European found his first European mobile phone a Vodafone better than a GoPro so I'm going to gift that to you Paul. that's very kind I'll, I'll set, give it in a competition on, on YouTube thank you that's kind let me, let me pick it up and, and cherish it and pick up the silver corner beside her right? yeah yeah that's the one there you are that's just wonderful. Thank you, Bo. I can restore it. <laughs> My wife has found a coin. My wife has found a coin, and it's a who knows what. It's a penny. It's a penny. It's a penny. You can help. Wonderful. So my wife has found another coin with a Garrett pin pointer. And it's probably a 2p. Yes, it's a 2p. But it's more than I found. So this seems to be a coin layer here, which is good. I've got the Deus on GM power with the iron volume turned down and the discrimination up. Nice little bun here, found with a detector and pinpointed by my darling wife. Just kick this up. Oh, it's got to be a penny, I guess. No, I don't think it is. It's a button. Reading 56. Nice. So this is as far as you can come within your license, past this, and they'll get very upset with you. The sad thing is, past those stairs, which actually go into Parliament, which is one reason you can't go down there, um, although there's a big gate at the top, from then on down, it's like, it's just like a bonanza of stuff from Parliament, plates, forks, hat badges, coins, you name it. I went out there a few times 25 years ago, filled my bag with stuff, but you're not, they don't shout at you in the old days, I don't know what they do these days, probably shoot you, so we're not going down there. Um, but if you only could go down there, ah. So this is a cartwheel, which Bo's wife found. And I should be putting it in my bag to take home with us. Not. And this is like a ribbing stairs, I would have thought, at some point, going out. But I'm gonna go over that little piece there, and then I'm not gonna go any further. Pretty amazing, I've never seen one of those. We've got 45 minutes to low tide now. This is my wife's first mudlark and she's found two coins and now a button. Here's a button. This is a very good spot because this area here will act like riffles on a gold pan and trap items like that. Yeah. Pendant? Pendant, I should say. So that's a nice button I just found. My wife with a pin pointer. This is an extremely good find. Fascinating find. That bow just made. And this has got a hole in it. So it's a pendant of sorts, I would think. And every time I see little bobs like that, I think Celtic. I really do. So, I don't know that. Whatever it is, that's bloody old. That's bloody, bloody old. I'm jealous of you, Aqua Chigger. Just the way I like it. So finding some good stuff on this little spot here. That's just a washer, but it looked like a piece out of a pocket watch, but it probably isn't. And I just found this. See that? It's got a lovely little pattern down. This is actually Victorian, I would say. A nice oak leaf pattern. Lovely bowl, that. Lovely bowl. Now, I should think that's a piece of a iron railing, maybe? I don't know. It's rather fine, isn't it? But um, there's no iron railing up there for a long time. So that's an old piece of... It's an old artifact iron railing. Lovely. 
And there's a big nail. Good for a scraper. So Bob's gone fully aquatic. He's found something. Boldly going where no man has gone before. Here's a coin. It's a two euro cent piece. The tourist obviously wanted to buy a splash. Bid then chiming 11. Low tide was 52. So this will be coming up in a few minutes. And this is the Saturday Super Tide, last one of the year. We found a few things. We've done quite well actually. Bo's got a brilliant thing. Aqua Chica's got a very, very, very good ancient pendant by the looks of it. Got some nice pipes, a few coins, buttons. Not too bad, nothing spectacular for me, but it's just a pleasure to be down here. So this is the Aqua Chica technique. Not a particularly good one today. That's the way the cookie. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And this is Julian, the official photographer of the trip. Signed photographs of Chill Bill and Aqua Chicken will be available on eBay later. Minimum auction price, thousand dollars. So Bo's out where nobody can go because this is low tide now, and he's out another few foot. So he's finding a few coins, all modern apparently, but you know they get washed down there. So the further you get out, the richer it gets. The less people get out there, the more there is. And um, I've never seen anybody wade out here. This is purely the reserve of the aqua jigger. I believe it's a musket ball. We're doing this together. <laughs> Talk about ironic. I was trying to kick this little fragment out of the way. It's not a fragment at all. It's a really old a really old and full bowl. I could have snapped it with my foot because it's over the top of a really great signal. And that's a 1600s pipe. That's a really old one. That's going to be James II. That's going to be just post Elizabethan. Look at the size of that bowl. It's tiny and it's, look at that. Half of it's intact. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Four mil bowl there for 1950s. Not a bottle person, but there it is. So, this is my gold coin. I can't. Oh. <sighs> Get your camera out, man. Look at that. Oh, it's a French one as well. Look at that. Oh, oh awesome. that is awesome. Oh. Yeah, that's a trip right there, man. Oh, oh my god. Oh. It's beautiful shape too, huh? Oh! <laughs> I would lie down on this mud and do a snow angel, but there's no you snow should. and the mud is too deep. You should. And you know what? There might be another one here. No, let's not hang about. Uh, You're digging. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> that's awesome! Oh. <laughs> I'm going to make sure the lighting's right because I can't believe it. What'd you find? What'd you find? <gasps> That's gold! Did you find that? What do you... No! Ah, it's mine! It's mine! Don't, don't touch it. <laughs> no, no, please. Take, pick it up. Take it. Oh, don't, it's real! Don't rub it, though. Don't rub I'm it. not going to touch it. I just want to see it in the... <gasps> it's French. Oh! Uh, lucky dog! Congratulations! It's... It's something in my way. My, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm zooming in. I'm zooming out. He's so excited he's shaking. Uh, he should be! <laughs> My whole life of many years of treasure hunting, it's got a date on it. Does it? No. That's a Louis Door, I should guess. That's my wild guess. But it might be early because there's no head on it. That is old, old, old. I'm going to put it in my pocket because there might be more here. And what am I doing? Get busy. It's Get busy. only a gold coin. Get busy. Get busy. Not a boat's going by and the waves are going to roll in, so we have to Where was it? curb our stuff. There's a hole. There's a hole. Is that it? I'll mark it. I'll mark it. <laughs> That's awesome, man. My machine, oh. my machine just broke like half an hour ago, so I can't even look. But I dug that coin. 
Hey, Clem, you only heard it. Sure. I actually dug it. But you gave it to me. You said that's your gold coin, remember? Yeah, found it. <laughs> I should double check it in my pocket. <laughs> You better go oh, check. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. Yeah. That's a beautiful point. And I dug it with this. I can die now. I can never, I don't have to treasure hunt ever again or mudlark. I found the gold coin. Not only is it a gold coin, it's an ancient gold coin. It's in this lady's pocket for safekeeping. It's hammered. It's, oh, it's looking 1600s. It's in great condition. It's in great condition. And it came from here. My first gold coin in my life with the aquatic aqua jigger. Dug it. Dug it with an iron nail. <laughs> and I can still find another, so I'm getting on with it. Let's face it, I'm in a panic. I found a gold coin, a fabulous gold coin in fabulous condition, and I'm not detecting around the hole. So now I am. Well, there's a good signal there. See where that black rock is? That's where the coin was. So, have a go there. So we're gonna do the vicinity. Right again. No, I'd say that's gone. Where's the rock gone? Where's the rock of destiny? Oh, there it is. There it is. There's a lot of signals here. My wife's not going to believe it. I don't believe it. Nice little paddock there by Aqua Chigger. My master gold digger. Because we found that coin together. Bo dug it with this metal spike out of the ground. I didn't even hit it. And I detected it with this majestic, <laughs> majestic dais. Functioning. Maj oh, yes, oh, majestic and functioning So, Aquachica's just got this. Mm. Is it, no, it's nothing, is it? That is a coin that's hammered. And I've been passing over them because they've been honking like iron. I'm having a night honks. And he said, oh, 65, I'm having that. I and see that's, a, that's, something that's, on it. That's a nice, no, 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 that's a nice. It's nice. Oh, it's a child's hammered farthing. Is it hammered? Oh, my. Another mega find from the chig. Another see, find from the chig. You see that? Chick. See the, hey, the gold coin goes to me then, eh? No. You know what that means? Are you, hey? found, you found a clay pipe. Give me a sharp blade, I need to kill him. <laughs> but you see that's crown and that's a C, and I would say that's C for Charles. He told me to walk over that thing. And I told him to walk over it, because I know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. And it honked like a piece of iron. Charles. Amazing, amazing. Oh. There you go, Bo. There you go, Bo. No, it's copper. It's, it, it, it's, it's, uh, I think you'll find that's Charles. C for Charles, and that will be some copper token. Awesome! And another win for the dais on the foreshore. It was definitely a sea, man. On it. Definitely sea. It could be like a, 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 um, yeah, a Norwegian sea. sea. There was other um, seas than there was other Charles than the English Charles. But seeing as we're hundred yards from the House of Parliament and it's got a crown on it, it's got a sea. How old would that? Uh, what would that be? To possible. Sixteen hundreds, seventeen hundreds, I should think. There's a squadron of canoes. There we are. There's a squadron of kayaks for you, boat. Young people's jewelry, and some have already cried when they lost that, like I cried when I found that coin. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that for another generation to discover. Thank you, Westminster Beach. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for a find of a lifetime. I cannot believe it. I'm, you know, most people will start swearing and jumping up and down, but I'm sort of like just gobsmacked, and I keep putting my hand in my pocket to see if it's still there, and I've cleaned it up. I put it in my mouth and washed off all the dirt. I don't care about dangerous rat pee in the Thames. I don't care about cholera. I want it clean. There so it I'm going to tear it out of my pocket and show there it to you now. Is. Hold on a second. Change hands. And this is, I've cleaned it off now. It looks like 1541. Let me make sure you've got focus. 1541. It's definitely French because I'm digging them up in France. And here I am in England, digging them up in England. Or rather, Aquachigger dug it up, but I found it. He's the only guy whose knees work. So I've had him as my digger for a day, and he's brought me amazing luck. I think that says Charles, 
that would be Charles V. And this would be a Louis d'Or, I don't know to be honest with you, I'm not an expert on French. But that's just gobsmacking and I can't believe it, I can't believe my luck. And um, I'm just ecstatic. awesome, 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 awesome. It wasn't a live dig but it was almost, you saw it in the hole. And uh, tide's coming in now. The duck tour is duck touring. The spot where we found it is now being covered up and I've showed it to those two other mudlarks. And we're going in and I'm gonna get a bottle of celebrational beer, although it deserves a crate of champagne. And Aquachick is still at it. We're joining the photographer and Aquachick and wife of Aquachick. My wife is up there having found a few nice things, ruining her shoes. And we're going in after the most amazing find of my life.